Hello fellow authors, aspiring writers, and book nerds. I'm Nicole Marcina and welcome to my side of the universe. So hi guys, how's everyone doing? Right now it's day 3 of NaNoWriMo here in the Philippines and I am doing this video to give an update on what happened during my day 2 of NaNoWriMo. It's actually going to be a bit of a rant video. It's actually going to be a bit of a rant. It's not going to be that of a big deal, actually. I'm just going to tell you what happened during my day two of NaNoWriMo. <laughs> before we start this video, if you're not updated with the latest video before this one, there's a thing. Go ahead and check it out if you want. Anyways, let's get into the video, shall we? So, what happened during day two of NaNoWriMo for me? Let me say this to you my dear viewers straight in the face what happened during day two i wasn't able to write i know it sucks to hear right but hear me out okay i was going to write yesterday i was already planning a big writing day yesterday however a lot of things happened first of all we had a very late morning here at home we didn't wake up early as we usually do when we were together here especially me i felt so tired because I slept late on November 1st and I really wanted to take more time to sleep however I wasn't able to so we just really had a late morning and then now we had a late morning and before I did anything I recorded the video which was yesterday's video and it took a long time for it to get uploaded to YouTube for uh, some reason um, I didn't know what was going on but I figured it out but it was already late in the afternoon I was going to write during the afternoon, however what I did was I just typed in the previous words that I made um, before NaNoWriMo started, that's just what I did. I took a quick nap, and then when I woke up after my nap, my family and I went outside, you know, just to bond, you know, we brought our son to the playground here. Um, one of the malls here have an outside playground, and so we brought him there and he just played around and stuff like that. Then when we got home, we had a late dinner, and then I was going to take a nap so I could stay up until 12. However, my son got sick. I needed to take care of him. He is the main priority always, but he needed extra attention last night because he got sick. He's doing fine now. He's doing well, um, but he still needs our attention today. Um, I, I hope I get to you know get some writing done today. I am not feeling pressured to write so much today. Like I said, I'm taking a calmer approach for the first few days of NaNoWriMo because I don't want to get burnt out so easily. Also, I recently discovered the Discord chat of my fellow Filipino writers. Um, I've been chatting with them a lot. I was supposed to go to the physical writing yesterday. But I wasn't able to because of the weather and I didn't know how to get there. I do hope that by the next physical writings I will be able to do so um, and get to meet you know, fellow Filipino writers. That would be great. So that's what happened yesterday. My goal for today is to be able to catch up with my writing and everything else. Like I said, I am still in the outlining phase of the sequel at the same time. I am working on my manuscript for Naya Rymo. Um, I also want to work on my side projects um, if time permits me because I still have to edit this video. So I have to spend time with, you know, my Instagram family, you know, everything that's social media regarding my other platforms. I have to make time for that. I also have my freelance job. I have my son and I have the chores. It's always a full schedule for me every day. So I'm really hoping that I will really be able to get a lot of work done. What really takes my time every day is editing the videos because editing isn't fun and editing isn't easy. Well, I do enjoy editing, but it really takes a lot of time for you to edit because you have to make sure everything is good, everything is clean, um, put the music in, everything's just good to go. and like this one, I have to edit this app right after. Um, and then while, while it's exporting, I have to do other chores, you know, if I can, you know, and stuff like that. It's, it's hard work. 
NaNoWriMo is a month of extra work and I am not surprised, but I really have to work with what I have. Thoughts on day two was a bit tiring, but I get to spend time with my family and that's great. I also took it as a writing break for me because I've been writing every day before NaNoWriMo. So that's all for today folks, thank you very much for watching, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that cute bell on the side to notify you each time I post a video. Also if you enjoyed today's video, do give it a big thumbs up, leave a comment down below, share me your thoughts for day 2 of NaNoWriMo, how was it, were you able to write, were you taking a mental break, were you taking a writing break, were you spending with your family, let me know in the comment section, I would love to hear your thoughts. Follow my trail on social media. I'm on Instagram, Wattpad, WordPress, and Pinterest. Send me a message if you want. I'll be there. Also, if you want to send me something else, like a long message or stuff like that, my email address is down below. Send me a message through there. I am always checking my emails, so I'll, de I'll definitely answer you. <laughs> but again, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Stay creative, guys. Happy NaNoWriMo!